Dave's training is now over. He's had the same nine hours training as many young Battle of Britain pilots received before having to fly into combat. But Carolyn Spitfire has one last piece of history to make. For the first time in over half a century, Pete Brothers will once again take the controls of a World War II Spitfire. Just over 3,000 pilots are officially credited with having taken part in the Battle of Britain. Some, like Pete Brothers, survived and flew throughout the war. For others, combat lasted only days or even hours. You're flying my aeroplane. I'm greatly honoured, sir. It feels just like they used to feel. If there was one manoeuvre the Spitfire was born to fly, it is the victory roll. So you have control? I have control. You have. The Battle of Britain claimed nearly 3,000 Allied and German lives. Today, there are only a couple of hundred or so Battle of Britain pilots left alive. For all of them, Britain's finest hour was theirs too. The Battle of Britain is really a story of sacrifice. Those who benefited were the countries of Western Europe. It was a unique case of one country espousing a greater cause, represented by this handful of young men, the few, as they're now known, who went up to defend their own skies, but were actually defending something much greater at the time. It was, by any measure, not the meanest of acts among nations. This, I think, if anything of ours, is worth your memory. I hear the Merlin start up, and I thought, I'm going to have a look at this, and they plummeted off, you know, it was just like a scramble, really. I was back 60 years, 70 years, yeah. Full of ghosts, those aeroplanes were, my old mates. He said, uh, you've had a rough time, haven't you? I said, no, I haven't had a rough time, no wonder I've done. He said, your nerves are completely shot away. They were the happiest days of my life. I'd do them all over again if I could, and do the same thing. And then I had nightmares which have persisted the rest of my life. It's something you grew to live with. It's a kind of scar of honour, if you like. We were faced with something, and we did our best, and we won.